Hello everybody, I have a super short video for you today. I just want to chat with you about the new Itch to Stitch, Itch to Stitch skirt that was just released, the Balboa knit skirt. I had a chance to test the pattern a few weeks ago and I love it. I'm Sharon with Sharon Sews and welcome to my channel. Now I don't do a lot of pattern testing, but I have discovered that I really like the Itch to Stitch patterns. I have not had trouble with any of them that I have tried. Um, I haven't tried all of them, but the ones that I have tried, I really like them. I like the way they fit. The instructions are really well written. And so I test patterns for her on occasion when it fits my schedule. And I had a chance to test this new skirt, the Balboa skirt. It is the perfect, simple little skirt. It's perfect for summer weather, but it's also perfect for any season. I'm wearing it with sandals and t-shirts, but you could certainly wear it with tights and boots. There's 13 options in this pattern, and I love a pattern that gives me a lot of options. Here are all of the options. As you can see, the first thing is you can cut that front and back on the fold, or you can cut the front and back so that you have a seam in the front and back. Then you have a pencil skirt. You have an A-line. You have an A-line with a ruffle at the bottom. You have an A-line with a flounce at the bottom. You have a double flounce. You have a handkerchief hem. Ooh, love that. And a maxi with all of those options. So many opportunities to play with your fabrics and just a great simple sew. So the ones that I'm showing you today, I have one that's a double flounce, which I absolutely adore, the little sassiness of it, and an A-line skirt. I typically wouldn't sew an A-line skirt. I just don't think they look that nice on me. I'm more of a pencil skirt kind of girl, but I love the A-line in this knit. It's just a really nice fit and so incredibly easy to sew. This is the A-line skirt. You just have two side seams and stitch on that waistband with elastic. That's it. See, simple. I love the waistband technique on this. Her instructions are fabulous. And look, it's almost invisible. It's a separate waistband, which is really nice because you can help get that nice fit. But it's also a flat elastic waistline, so you don't have that bulk of the gathers at your waist. I don't know about you, but I don't need extra bulk at my waistline. So I have three of them that I am going to model for you. This one is the double flounced skirt. I love how it flows and the little bit of sass when you walk. This is from a single brushed polyester knit. Now this one is the A-line version. I absolutely love this. It is so comfortable to wear and so simple to sew. This was actually a dress that I never used and I cut it up for these skirts. So this one does have a center back seam only because of that. And it is a double brushed polyester knit. This is also the A-line version. Again, double brushed knit with a little bit of a tie dye print, very summery looking. I've got my shirt half tucked in there and see it's very hot out today. Now, realistically, I will probably wear it with the t-shirt out. I just wanted to kind of show the waistline a little bit. Love it so much. Be sure to go to the Itch to Stitch website where you can see all of the tester versions. You'll have a chance to see it on different body types, different ages, and different versions. So you will get to see what a great pattern this is. If you're looking for a simple sew, something that, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I like to just have something that I can whip up really fast because I want a sewing fix. That's what this skirt is. And it doesn't take a lot of fabric either. It's designed for medium weight knit. Uh, you could use a ponte, you can use uh, double brush knits like I did, lots of opportunities and anywhere from less than a yard to a yard and three quarter, depending on which version you make. I'd love to hear what you think about the new pattern. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. Have a blessed day and happy sewing.